We know that as much as we have now the reign of King Charles and Queen Consort Camilla, mm -hmm. the future is, is William, William and Kate. Mm -hmm. And their children as well. And, and we could well. not get enough of those precious children. Especially Charlotte seemingly always putting George in his place in public. Yes. But truth be told, there is an heir and there is a spare. There is. And, I, I, you know, and, and, and people sort of think it's very disparaging to have this idea of the spare. And, and um, it is a historic concept. You, we've always had to have a spare to support the heir. But I think people should think about it perhaps in a more modern context. How and so? I think you're seeing a support act here. I think in the same way that Charles has always been very heavily supported by his sister, the Princess Anne, mm -hmm. we are now seeing, even from a very early age in his life, Prince George supported by Princess Charlotte. Mm -hmm. There's a wonderful dynamic there. Um, you know, they were together at the service of Thanksgiving for Prince Philip. Um, you know, they, they've sort of stepped in on some high profile roles when it came to Prince George carrying out his first official engagement, mm -hmm. which was to Cardiff over the Jubilee weekends. William and Kate decided to include Charlotte on that. Mm -hmm. So in the same way that William always had his wingman mm -hmm. in, in Harry, I think it's rather wonderful that that is being echoed here with George and Charlotte. Mm -hmm. You know, you're going to see, I think, real teamwork at place here. So cool, and I feel like we can already see it in the works, you know. What about Louis? How, would, how does he fit into the equation? Well, well Louis, I mean, Louis's role is going to be interesting. I mean, I was told that the, the Cambridges, or the Waleses as they are now, really looked to the Wessexes, Edward and Sophie, and how they're raising mm -hmm. their children as a sort of, something of a, of a template, because actually they are royal children, mm -hmm. and they have titles, and yet they live remarkably ordinary lives. I mean, Lady Louise Windsor had a job in a gardening centre wow. over the summer school holidays. She's going to go to university, actually following Prince William to St Andrews. They're awesome. living relatively ordinary lives. Now, of course, the Wales children are different. Mm -hmm. Prince George is an heir. Right. He, we know he's aware of being an heir, who his father is, who he will one day be. Mm -hmm. um, so it is different, but I think that move to Windsor that they recently did, which was a bold move, mm -hmm. taking the children out of a school that they were very happy in, moving them to Windsor, so that they can have this sort of, I think a life more out of the spotlight. Kensington Palace is very overlooked. Right. London is, it, it, the it's focus in the is eye always of the storm, there. right. It is, and I think they can have a different life in Windsor so that these children are able to sort of live as ordinary lives as royal children possibly can. Because at some point they will take on royal duties. They will, well and they so already are. And I think we're going to see, I think we are going to see more of that. I mean, it wouldn't surprise do. me. Well, I've traveled to New Zealand with, with the royal children, to Canada. And I think we will see the Waleses including their children where they can, mm -hmm. where it's not disruptive to the school routine. Because again, that image of the future mm -hmm. is a really powerful one. But when does it become like official royal duties? As Not for me, I think it, it won't be for many years and okay. I think, you know, for William particularly who was able to enjoy a very rewarding military career, served with the RAF and then went on to have a civilian job as a, as a search and rescue pilot, mm -hmm. he's had the advantage of being able to have that. He's going to want the same for his children too. And, gotcha. and I think just it's also a, a, a probably a moment to raise the fact that, you know, William never wanted to leapfrog his father. He wants this time to be the Prince of Wales for which there is no job description, for which he's going to carve out his own identity mm -hmm. whilst raising this young family. These are precious and important years for him and he, he doesn't want to lose those years.